I'm Elizabeth Mackis, the Pelvic Whisperer. As a physical therapist who has had the honor and privilege of treating the pelvic floors of men and women for over 25 years, I am always on a quest to find better and easier ways to release tight muscles and fascia. And on my quest, I discovered some really cool ways to use the pelvic therapy TheraWands. So on our journey today, I hope that you will also sort of figure out which TheraWand is the best for your body's needs. All right, let's move on to the premium long anal wand. This wand has a much thinner rod, so it makes it great for anal release or really tight vaginas. So traditionally, you would use this knob end as a handle. It works nice that way. And what I do that I have my patients use the knob end, especially if they really have tight anal sphincters or tight vaginas, and you can go a few knobs in and it'll hook into the anus and you can just slowly push straight down and sustain that as kind of like a dilation. The same thing for really tight vaginas and in vaginas where there's some scar tissue, like maybe a residual hymenal membrane or scar tissue from a pediziotomies or other surgeries, then you can certainly hook a few knobs in that tight vagina and then you can push straight down to sort of sustain that pressure. And I found that very helpful to a lot of my patients. All right, I think you get the idea. These wands are useful tools for your body when used wisely. So be creative, but please be careful. And even better, get your pelvic floor physical therapists involved. Let them teach you and show you how to be safe. All right, well, be blessed and happy releasing.